coach, um, Monday, uh, how did everybody look just coming back? Yeah, come back from a day off. Sure. Yeah, yeah, and, um, you know, we try to plan everything out. And, uh, you know, there's a strategy, you know, why we do what we do. But I thought it was good good energy and focus. As always, there's things to clean up, um, things we're working on. And you're finding out a lot about these guys. What's the approach for the first exhibition game? No, no game plan and all that kind of stuff. But what, what are you, how do you want to proceed? Yeah, this just, you know, see these guys come out here and execute uh, against a different team scheme. You know, uh, things you try to simulate in practice that you can't simulate in the games. You know, the, the liveness of the, of the pocket, the quarterback, um, you know, tackling, all the stuff you want to see. Was there anything when Kyle came back this year that maybe surprised you that he improved that? It surprised me. Um, I continually said last year, you know, and what we asked him to do, especially that position, that there would be a, we hoped there would be a leap in year two, and he had a good rookie year, and, and uh, I love the way he's working. I like his mindset. He's like a lot of our guys in year two, they're more comfortable, and so we'll see. We'll see how it plays out, but very, very uh, pleased with how he's doing. Oh, wow, like, yeah, maybe he's, he, he either took a, Bigger jump than I even anticipated, or if yeah, it's hard to say, you know, until we play. Um, I'm optimistic if that's the case, Mike, but we'll have to go, we'll have to see. But you, you certainly see the confidence and gone through a year, knows what to expect, um, doesn't have the unknown of what, you know, how to take care of his body throughout the NFL season. Yeah, I mean, if it was something that we thought was long term, I'd update you like it, like with Vince. Um, we'll see. Right. The car came out, which is why I was just kind of. Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's strange. As long as you're in your business, and you guys have covered it. I remember Rocky McIntosh walking off the field, jogging off the field in the uh, old Meadowlands on in 2007. Looked fine. They tell you, you know, tears his ACL the next day. Uh, coach a player, and I'll keep it private. But uh, he was carted off a game. He was fine. And some of the veteran tight ends may have had an issue with it. But um, in all seriousness, you just never know, Mike. You really don't. I know, I know it looks ugly, and we, we take every precaution. I'm not making light of anybody being injured because it's an unfortunate part of the game, but it's hard to tell when somebody gets carted off. Hardly, do you talk a little bit about the communication from the secondary standpoint? Like you're doing a red zone drill down here, mm-hmm. a lot of rubs and things like that. Do you like the – is that young safety group progressing from a communication standpoint? We feel, feel like they are. Um, it's good. You can't get enough of that. There's different situations you throw at them. And it's important those guys communicate. And so we're working a couple of different things. Uh, got some young guys, some more reps today, especially in the, the team periods. And it was, it was fun to watch them. And I, I'm excited to go look at the film and see. There's, there's a guy that flashes every day, especially up front on both sides. Talk about up front. Um, Taquan Graham kind of caught my eye over the last mm-hmm. week. Can you kind of talk about his progression? I know, you know not a lot of live stuff happening, but what do you see? Yeah. I mean, it's all relative, right? When you when you get the pads on, it's a little bit different. You know, you're going full speed, but you're in the, the spiders. Uh, I think he's had a solid camp so far. I, that, another, another guy played a lot as a rookie and hoped that experience, and he improves and builds that confidence. But been pleased with him as well. Back out there today. Yeah, back just assessing it. Yeah, it was good to have him back out there. You never know those things, and we'll continue to assess to see if he's uh, healthy enough to play Friday night. Backs, like you even said. Earlier. Yeah, it's no, so it's tricky. tricky. Yeah. Does it end up being like a day to day, the day after day where you have to check on it type thing? Or? You know, I, I, this one will probably be let's assess. You know, we're going to get back after tomorrow. We'll be in pads tomorrow on Wednesday and grind it pretty good here with some training camp practices. And so we'll see how it responds. I think that's probably the, the best realistic answer I can give you. Yeah, he's a guy who allows him to see him flash over and over. Mm-hmm. What is he maybe showing you that to put him in position, especially with quickness, quickness and power. And but again, a lot of guys they've they've been I used to call it, you know, all all St. Thomas when I was in Nashville, um, all flowery branch, you know, and then you, you put the you get in the game and then they disappear. So we'll see. How's Hassey and Fist doing uh, and fun guys to coach. Parker Parker's doing well. Tucker um, Excited to see him compete Friday night. Are there two weeks in a, or two days in a row where a ball tip ends up in a safety's hands? And make, now, I know that I'm talking about it from a defensive perspective. Yeah. That's, I mean, guys in the right spot, if the balls are ended up in your guys' hands, would that be a, a good assessment? Of, of Absolutely. you got to catch them. The old joke is you catch the ones they throw you. You know, sometimes guys, some quarterbacks, 
you know, it's certain guys you say, hey, they're going to throw you for us whether or not we catch it. And uh, it holds up true. And certainly when the ball gets tipped, we got to, that's, that's the fun part. You coach both sides. There's a lot to learn from. Play we got to make offensively, you know, it's as simple as that, catch, catch the damn ball. But if it gets tipped up, you got the opportunity. We got to take advantage of the opportunity on the other side. So it's good. It's competitive. There's always stuff to teach from and, and coach off of. This might be a weird question, but is there, as a guy who's been an offensive coach for so long, do tips or drops cost me? No. No. I've had guys where young players that they're going through it. I, I like the guys that can handle failure. And they go let them play through some stuff and see if they get it fixed. I mean, when you make these early narratives on guys, uh, some of them are just asinine. You know, I've seen great players. They struggle early on, and then they're able to go through it. Like I, with the quarterbacks, you know, your competition going on and in practice, and maybe the first couple plays don't go your way. I want to see how they respond. They get risk averse. They're going to keep swinging, you know, and um, that's all this stuff. No, it doesn't bother me. You know, I mean, it bothered me if it – going to be a problem and you right. put them, you know, they can't produce, but I just meant not yeah, yeah, general sure, practice. sure. Kind of like, I don't overreact to practice. Yeah. Well, I mean, just even in games, like, it's like a tip or a drop that kind of gets, gets you more annoying. Well, it's a, it's a, if it has become a pattern right. and we haven't fixed it, right. yeah, that's an issue. It's an issue for multiple reasons. Hey, Coach, then co- we always ask about how players are progressing through training camp. How are you and the coaching staff progressing through these first two weeks of training? That's a good question. Um, that's why I think, you know, we've had some attrition, but uh, there's such a better familiarity with the staff and things that we've tweaked and we continue to evolve. That's certainly different in year two. I'm very pleased in that regard, too. Yeah, Coach Barry Hill, um, how's he doing, the a little wide receiver from Arizona? Yeah, they're competing. Him, uh, Bernie, Tyshawn. Fired up to see those guys compete Friday night. They've earned the right to go out there and compete, and we'll see them.